This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. In the previous activity, we created this. Here, animal sounds. We have one main screen. Let's hear some amazing animal sounds. It takes us to this screen, where we have 12 animal sounds. You're going to use... You're going to use the skills you learned in this activity to make your own creativity project, your own soundboard. Well, what's a soundboard? This is the Google Play Store. If I simply do, do a search for soundboard, you can see there are hundreds, if not thousands, of soundboards. For example, uh, there's a Homer soundboard app. And you can see here, if I click on this, it has different pictures of Homer doing different things. You can see the same thing here. Or if we go back, there's soundboards for everything from Samuel L. Jackson, to Hulk Hogan, you can see they have soundboards for Dave Chappelle. So, in this creativity project, you are going to use your creativity to create your own soundboard app on whatever piques your interest. Make sure to use your user interface design diagram to plan out how you want your, your app to look first, and also make sure when you're downloading files that you're downloading WAV files. Use some of the websites on the class page to help you find those. So to start your creativity project, you're going to go to, you're going to go to my projects, start a new project. We're going to call it my sound board. And then you're going to press OK. And here you go. This is your first project. Now you're going to use the websites that we use to create your own app. Now we have our soundboard created. We want to find some sounds. We want to find some files. No. You want to use WAV files because MP3 files are too large. The maximum that your files, the maximum size your app can be is 10 megabytes. And that's because people don't want to spend a lot of time downloading apps if they're 100 megabytes. Normally you download a small portion of an app and then when you first launch it, you download all the other things in the background. For our app, it only can be 10 megabytes, so you make sure you use WAV files, not MP3 files. MP3 files may be as big as five megabytes for one file. Again, you have 10 files, 10 songs that you're going to need here. So you can't do 10 songs times five megabytes each. If you do find MP3 files that are very short and very small, in file size, you may be able to use them. Those might be ringtones that might be five or six seconds, but whole songs will be five megabytes, which is half of the capacity, which means if you had 10 songs that are required for this app and you have five megabytes each, that's 50 megabytes, it will not work. Here's one page that we found, WaveSource, and they have a bunch of different stuff. You can see it has different movie stars, it has different movies, it has different people like comedy, it has TV programs, and it has various stuff like music, news elements, sound effects, sports, and video games. So let's just look at video games. I can come here and select video games, and maybe I'm going to do something from here. Or if I go back and let's go to TV. So Right here, I can go to television, and you can see it has all these different things. Or if I go back, movies. Let's say I wanted to do a movie. I could choose anything I want. For example, if I wanted to do ET, you see it has one of these. So again, use your creativity to make a soundboard using the skills you learned in your Animal Sounds project before to make your own original soundboard app. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save this document and then turn it into your teacher.